Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's lesson, I'd like to talk about why your car temperature fluctuates while driving. The first common problem is going to be pocket of air. Basically, the cooling temperature sensor is mounted somewhere in the cooling system, such as the cylinder head, bypass hose, sometimes on the radiator, and so on. The cooling temperature sensor should always be reading the uh, cooling temperature. However, if you have pocket of air, sometimes the coolant te temperature sensor could be reading the pocket of air instead of the coolant. So this can throw reading off. Like for example, when you're driving, this coolant will be constantly moving around. So basically, the temperature sensor can be reading the coolant and then the pocket of air, back to the coolant, and back to the pocket of air, and so on. This is why you will always have that temperature fluctuation while driving. The next common problem is going to be a defective thermostat. The thermostat should be closed during startup while the engine is warming up. Once the engine is warmed up, the thermostat will open and allow coolant to flow throughout the engine. However, if the thermostat is partially stuck closed, this can interrupt the, uh, the coolant flow. So basically, this can cause that temperature fluctuation while driving. So if you suspect that you got a bad thermostat, you should replace this. The next common problem is going to be a faulty coolant temperature sensor. If you notice that you're getting irregular temperature readings, you can suspect that the coolant temperature sensor may be faulty. First, you wanna make sure that the connections are good and the wires are good, good, good condition. If it is loose, then there's a good chance that that will contribute to a temperature fluctuation problem. So what you want to do, you want to grab the wires and connection and just kind of wiggle it around. And you see your temperature starts to fluctuate, that can also contribute to the problem. In addition to that, you also want to check if you have any uh, coolant temperature sensor uh, fault codes, and if you have any fault codes, it is time to replace the coolant temperature sensor. The next common problem is going to be low coolant in the cooling system. Basically, if you have low coolant in the cooling system, it's going to make it much more difficult for the coolant temperature sensor to get a proper reading from the coolant. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your cooling system is filled up with coolant. And if you fill up your cooling system and you suspect that you keep losing coolant, Suspect that you got a leak somewhere in the cooling system and that should be addressed and fixed. The next common problem is going to be a bad radiator. So basically coolant should flow throughout the radiator in a, in a smooth fashion. If coolant is flowing and there's some sort of interruption due to clogs or some sort, this can again cause an interruption in coolant flow and again contribute to that irregular temperature fluctuation. So you suspect you got a bad radiator, radiator, what you want to do, you probably should flush it out. Hopefully that fixed the problem. The next common problem is going to be a defective fan. So basically you can have a defective electric fan or a defective fan clutch. So you want to make sure that these components are working properly. The next common problem could be a bad water pump. So basically the water pump is completely rusted out and these impellers are no longer there and there's, let's just say it's partially worn. This can also affect the way coolant flows throughout the cooling system. So if you suspect you got a bad water pump, this part should be replaced. So I hope you guys find this video educational. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Water Repairs.